So, you know, we in a new year, new me season. Yes. But a lot of us still have some of the same goals from 2023. And a lot of y'all, and I know for sure because y'all came up to me and asked. You did. A lot of y'all wanted to start a podcast. Yes. I got good news for you, player. Spotify for podcasts is here for every need you have. We've been using Spotify for podcasters since we started our podcast. It's so easy. You literally record, edit, and upload all from your phone, your computer. So no matter what your setup looks like, you can start now. Yes, get your conversations, your opinion, your views out to the world. People need to hear you. You can distribute your podcast to Spotify and anywhere else that podcasts are heard. With Spotify for podcasters, you can earn money in a multitude of ways. Ads or podcast subscriptions. I mean, it's an easy way to get your visions out to the world and earn some extra pocket change. Yeah, my favorite thing about all of this is free 99. Yes. <laughs> you know, they don't charge you a dime. So you really got nothing holding you back. Today, today, not tomorrow, today, let's be heard. Spotify for podcasters. Let's be seen. Welcome or welcome back to another episode of the For the Healthy Health podcast, where we talk about self awareness, conscious living, and everything in between. I'm your host, Ree. Thank you so much for joining me and allowing me to be a part of your journey. I literally just had the hardest time setting up the mic, getting Logic Pro to work. I about, I really about lost it, okay? And it's so funny, it's so crazy, and really like right on time that the topic of today's episode is instant gratification and divine timing. I always feel like the message that I'm sending or that I'm giving in each episode is right in alignment with my life, but nothing has ever been like so close, like like that, like, you know what I mean? Like me trying to get the mic to work. Like it literally took me about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes to set up, which usually takes about five. Um, so we right on time for today's message. If you've never heard of the word instant gratification or you're not quite sure like what that really means, it just means it's basically is the immediate fulfillment of a person's goals or desires. I was initially inspired by, well, I guess not even, inspired is not even the right, I guess it's the right word, but sometimes when you're thinking about the word inspire, we think about, it. I was literally about to say, when you think about it, in the word inspire, you think about inspirational things, but no, like that makes sense. You think about positive experiences, but last night, what really prompted this topic is my mother, y'all. My freaking mother. She always does this and it annoys me so much. So like, she'll call my phone. I won't answer. She'll call me again. I won't answer. She'll FaceTime me. I won't answer. She'll text me. And then if I don't respond, she'll, re she'll call my daughter. And if we both don't respond, she'll call my man. I know my mom, so most people would think like, oh, it's an emergency. This is an emergency. In the beginning stages, like years ago when she would do this, I would think it was an emergency, but it's it's not. It's her wanting to know what I'm doing. And that interaction really prompted instant this this topic about instant gratification. As humans, we all have wants, needs, desires. And we also have an expected time frame in which we want these things to happen. I used to be really bad at this, like trying to control things, expecting things to happen when I wanted them to happen. But that's just not how the world works. That's not how the universe works. So I've recently, I would say probably since I started my like, you know, spiritual journey, my wellness journey, I have learned that to just be patient and wait because that's really what it's all about like just sitting back you know and we live in the day and age where everything is instant and immediately instagram instacart uber eats doordash 
So quite naturally, we're expecting everything else in our life to be immediate, to happen when we want it to happen, to be quick. Oftentimes when we have goals, where whether it be to, you know, start a business, lose weight or gain weight or have the body of our dreams, we give up because we're not seeing results instantly. And that is so detrimental to like our mental health. And I feel like there's also uh, an area or a space in there where we're wanting to control things. Like, I think maybe 50% of it is wanting to control. I, maybe all of you, honestly, is wanting to control things and wanting things to happen when we want them to happen. Because, like, that's that's basically what instant, instant gratification is. I think that instant gratification is one of the biggest pitfalls of humanity. It is so bad for our well-being, our mental health. And it really promotes the exact opposite of the life that I'm trying to live, which is slow living, you know, peaceful and mindfulness. And it creates such a cognitive dissonance within my lifestyle. You know what I mean? Like I want things immediately. I want things when I want them. But also I'm I have this desire to live a slow life like the math just the math ain't math then. You know, last week we talked about the law of attraction and I ended it, I ended it. Why can't I, why, why, why are my words not wording right now? Like, why is that? Hmm. I ended it with trusting the process and not being worried. And this is actually a great follow up to that episode because especially in a, in a, especially from a spiritual aspect where, you know, you're wanting the good and the abundance to come, but you really have to believe like you already have that. You already know that. We talked about that last episode, but trusting the process and letting go of the need to control outcomes and desires, it is one of the most important parts of, first of all, life, but also manifesting the life of your dreams. And from another perspective, I think often we act on emotions. We give our emotions so much power, so much meaning. You have to understand that emotions is just energy in motion. Like your mind is the most powerful thing. Your mind has the power to control your emotions. And once you have learned that and you figured that out, Life gets a little bit easier. But like I was saying, we give our emotions so much power. Like when we're sad, well, for me personally, when I'm sad, or I'm having a bad day or any minor inconvenience. I want to eat sugar. I want to eat snacks to make me feel better instantly. You know what I mean? I need that instant gratification to make me happier or And it'll only make me happy in the moment. It won't solve my sadness or whatever issue or situation that I was going through. That's the thing about instant gratification. It doesn't solve long-term problems. It makes you feel okay. It makes you feel good in the moment. Without long-term solutions, problems are going to keep arising. So it's like, even though my goal is to tone my body up, you know, and cut out sugar because it just doesn't make me feel good in that moment because I feel so sad and or angry I still eat sugar so it's like I'm I'm ignoring my values and my beliefs in that moment and that's dangerous it's like we lose all of our power in that moment so remembering that your emotions are just energy emotion is key when it comes to You know, trying to make yourself happy instantly. Feel whatever you're feeling and you'll find a way to work through it, even if it's not instantly. Something else that I want to talk about before we get into divine timing, which I touched on a little bit earlier, but I mentioned like having certain goals in, you know, whether it be business related, career related, self-care related. I don't know, like personal, personal personal goals there we go y'all have to forgive me I'm a little over I'm still a little overwhelmed from trying to get this mic hooked up so please forgive me for stumbling over my words right now but this is real life but yeah so we have these goals 
for me, I can just, I'm going to just use me as an example. Um, you know, to basically reach 100K on YouTube is one of my biggest goals, right? And we want things to happen, like I said before, instantly when we want them to happen. And it can kind of take away your gratitude, right? Because because when we're looking at the goals that we want to accomplish and where we want to be, we lose sight of how far we've come. Like I've come so far, but when I'm thinking about my goals and how far I have to go, I don't see how far I've came. I think most of us work really hard on our dreams and our goals We want to enjoy the fruits of our labor. We can and we will. We just got to be patient. Because I used to be the person who, and I'm still working on this, like I'm always a work in progress. But because I used to be the person that expected things to happen immediately and not only things like, you know, within my life, but also things from other people, other beings. When I asked of something, I expected it to be immediately. Because I expected that, I was also the person who rushed. And when I was asked of something, I basically broke my neck trying to get it done. Like, you know, I tried to do things immediately for other people. Like earlier, I gave the example of like, you know, my mom calling me, blowing me up when I didn't answer because I used to be the person like when my mama calls, I answer on the first ring. Like, you know what I mean? I would stop everything I'm doing and answer. But I don't do that now. Not for her and not for anybody. Because my well-being comes before anything. If I'm busy or if I'm in the middle of doing something or if I'm not in the right thought process, if I'm sad, if I'm mad, I'm angry, I won't answer my phone. I will eventually get back to whoever's calling. But if it's an inconvenience for me at that very moment, I won't rush. I won't satisfy that desire of instant gratification. And... That's okay. It's okay to live slow. It's okay to do things on your time. Because at the end of the day, if you're doing somebody else a favor, they're on your time. So it's okay to take your time and do that favor for somebody. It's okay to live slow. It's okay to move slow. Why is the world in such a hurry? And for what? Especially like, when you're driving, like, you know, when you get out on the highway or out into the world in your car and you're driving, everybody is in such a hurry. And to make matters worse, it's like everyone has somewhere to go and they feel as if where they have to go is more important than the next person. That's a problem. And I will say, you know, you have some nice people out there when you're driving. Um, but most of the time, it's like everybody's in such a rush. And I feel like that is such a reflection of how we live our lives. Slow down. Slow down. Whoever you're going to see, they'll be there when you get there. And yeah, you may be a few minutes late for work, but you're still going to get there. And I know moving fast makes it seem like you're getting there quicker And it may make you feel better about being late, but you're still going to get there. You're still going to get there. Slow down. Moving fast can honestly lead to such a burnout. Like if you want to prevent burnout, keep it simple. Keep it slow. One step at a time. Even like from a creative aspect, I make this huge to-do list at the beginning of every week. And, you know, looking at it at its entirety, it's super overwhelming. But I literally try to do one thing at a time. Like today, I'm recording this podcast. Now, granted, I do have other things I have to do um, for work. But normally, I like to take to do one task at a time. Like I, I literally only have one to two tasks to do throughout the day because it can become overwhelming. And like I said, doing a lot makes you feel like you're getting what you need to get faster, but that's just far from the truth. It's so chaotic when you're doing so many things, so overwhelming, and like I said before, it can lead to burnout. So keep that shit simple, and you're going to get to where you're going. You just have to trust and believe in divine timing. You have to believe that everything in your life is happening for a reason. Every person you meet, every You know, what seems like a challenge 
there's a lesson behind it. There's a reason why. Every situation that occurs in your life is not by mistake. It's for a reason. I think so often we wish and hope that we, you know, reach this level of success or reach our goals. But ask yourself, are you really ready for it? Are you really ready for it? Your manifestations and your wishes and your goals, they don't unfold. They don't they don't happen until you're ready for them. That's the magic. That's the power of divine timing. Things don't happen until you are truly, truly ready for them. If some of our dreams manifested right in front of us today in physical form, we wouldn't even know what to do because we're not ready for them. When you truly become ready for all that your life has to offer, it'll come into fruition. It will come into fruition. Going back a little bit um, to instant gratification, I think that, and I mean, even divine time, and it's all like, of course, aligns. I think that we all, like most of us, have a really hard time believing things will happen if it's not physically in front of us. If it's not in our physical reality we have a hard time believing and that's dangerous that's dangerous for you like you know what I mean to only believe the reality the physical reality that's in front of you Mm. that's such a hindrance to your well-being and to your manifestations you have to believe there is a world beyond the reality that you're currently living in I know for a fact that I'm going to do some pretty amazing things in this little life of mine. I'm going to work and connect with some pretty iconic people. And I don't need any proof. I know it and I feel it in my soul and that's enough for me. My current reality, although I've come so far, it's just the beginning for me. It's just the beginning of all the amazing things that I'm going to do. All the people that I'm going to touch and connect with. All the souls, all the spirits that I'm going to meet. This is just the beginning. I am a multi-dimensional creative being by nature. I am. You are. Even if you don't feel creative, you are. We are all creative beings. We just have to find our outlet. But I'm not attached to one creative outlet. I'm open to learning and to growing and to discovering other creative outlets that are going to fulfill me and that are going to allow me to connect and touch so many souls. A lot of what I just said isn't in my physical reality and I don't need it to be because I believe in the power of divine timing, of creating the life that I want to create. I know I'm here for a reason. This episode was, you know, short and sweet, straight to the point. And as we, you know, slowly move through September, try to be mindful of your habits and your needs and the desire to have things instantly. I think for so long we've been having, especially if you're a millennial like I am, we grew up in an instant era So quite naturally, we expect for things to happen instantly. Let's pay attention to that. It's okay to live slow. It's okay for it to take time for our dreams and goals to happen, as it should. If something happens overnight, I'm scared. I don't want it. Like, something's not right. Things are going to take time. Let's practice patience this month. Let's unplug a little bit. Let's kind of detach ourselves from our cell phone, you know, the devices in our hands. Let's disconnect from technology because I I do think that has a lot to do with why we want things to happen instantly. Let's hone in on our goals and the things that we want. And thinking about our last episode, let's get back to visualizing and manifesting the things that we want, but also understanding that these things are going to take time. We got to put in the work. We got to trust the process. And we got to trust and believe in the power of divine timing. You are exactly where you should be. 
Nothing in your life is by mistake. There's no such thing as the wrong decision, the wrong choice. Whatever you're feeling in your gut, that's the right choice. You cannot mess up your future. You cannot interfere with your destiny. Everything you want is already yours. And I want you to say that with me. Everything I want is already mine. Trust in the power of divine timing. Live slow. Everything you want is slowly but surely coming to you. Thank you for being here with me and giving me space to use my voice and to be myself. I appreciate you. And I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.